Hey guys, it's Steph, and today we are at Sonic doing a mukbang. I have not been to Sonic in so long, so I'm very excited. And I always see comments from you guys saying you want another Sonic mukbang. So here you go. I don't know why I haven't been here in so long, because Sonic is good. I don't know why I haven't been here in so long, but there is this milkshake I want to try too. So I'm trying to decide what I want to get. I was debating on coming here, Canes and Dairy Queen. I wanted to do a Dairy Queen mukbang, like with their food. Like I haven't really had their food ever. So I wanna do that, but we're not gonna do that today. Okay, so I think we're gonna get a regular cheeseburger, chili cheese coney, of course, and then a bunch of sides, and then a milkshake. There was this one milkshake I was seeing all over, and I can't like seem to find it. But, okay, let's order. Ooh, chili cheese tots. Ooh. That sounds good. Ooh, Cinestick. Hello, welcome to Sony. This is Jorge. How can I help you? Hi. Can I get a cheeseburger and add ketchup and mustard on that? Cause it comes uh, with ketchup and mustard, no? Oh, okay. Um, that's fine then. And then can I get a chili cheese coney? Okay. Um, the pretzel sticks. I'm sorry? Do you guys have like pretzel sticks? Pretzel twist, yes. Yes, can I get that please with cheese? And then can I do an order of marinara sticks? Mozzarella sticks, <laughs> sorry, with marinara sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry, you say medium mozzarella and with marinara? Yes, please. And then I'll do the tater tots. Okay. And then could I get a side of ketchup, ranch, Honey mustard. Okay. And then also, I'll do a small chocolate chip cookie dough blast. Okay. Anything and else? that should be it. 2036, we'll be right out in one day, no? Okay, thank you. It's so confusing when it says like quickly put in and quickly take out. It's so hard to do that. Especially if you have like long acrylic nails. That was like always so hard to do. At gas stations I'd get like my card stuck in the machine. But actually, oh that hurt my finger. I just bumped it. I have not had acrylic nails in so long. I've been having my natural nails. I tried to like, you know, take a break so my nails will get like healthy. But guess what? They did the complete opposite. I lost my whole entire fingernail. Um, if you get grossed out by things, don't watch this clip. I'm going to show it. Look, my fingernail's missing. Oh, it was like almost going to fall off for so long. And then it officially fell off. Well, I was like trying to rip it off. I don't know if he needs to talk to me anymore. But we'll keep it cracked. And um, I took little scissors and I kind of just cut it. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> so like I kind of wanted to like go get my nails just like gel painted because I feel like acrylics isn't really me anymore well I did press on nails for the longest time yeah I haven't had acrylics in forever except February or March I got them on a full set and then I didn't even want to get them filled so I just got them removed and then I have like I got like mold under my nail from the acrylic my nails like green it's almost grown out but she was taking them off at a salon. The lady was removing them, and then my nail was like green, and I was like, is that mold? She's like, yeah, it's common when like water gets under it. <laughs> like really, after the first like fill, usually maybe like after like three fills, like then you need to replace and get brand new ones. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, acrylics are not really my thing anymore even though they're so pretty like they are so cute but yeah I wanted to get my nails just like gel but now that I have no nail on this finger I feel like I should just do no nail polish because then they don't stand out as much or just like you know like a light pink color well I guess I could just go get them done then but then they would just paint like the little nub at the top uh, 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 gross. So gross. But, 
<sighs> After this, I'm going furniture shopping once again. I've gone to like 10 places. Not really seeing too much I like and everything. Like there's like a crazy wait for furniture. But this place I'm going to today, I was looking online and I was seeing a lot of stuff I liked. And everything that's on the floor you can actually just buy and take home with you. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna go and look there after I have a big full belly with all my Sonic food. A big happy belly. A full belly is a happy belly. I follow this girl on TikTok. And she does like all TikToks like that, and I love that. She does like before, like in a like a nice tight outfit or like a tight dress, you know. She shows before she eats a meal and then after she eats a meal, and she just is like positive about it. She's like, how bloating is normal and it happens and all that. And did you guys know women bloat like twice the amount as men, which is crazy. Here comes my food, I think. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, beautiful. How thank are you. you. Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you. Is it one glass? Yep. Okay. Thank you. And you're this day. And have a time. good day. You too. Take care. 20 bucks for all this. Ooh, look at all oh, this milkshake looks good. It's got all the cookie dough bites on the top. Ooh. I've not had a milkshake in ages. The only thing close to ice cream I ever even eat is a Frosty from Wendy's. And that's because I get a four for four. And for the drink, that's what I choose to get. But this looks really good. I have to try it. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> so cold. Oh, wow. They really loaded a ton of these on here. This is so good. I forgot how much I like like cookie dough ice cream. I never eat ice cream. But we will get to that. Mm. So I'm obsessed with these one like Ben and Jerry's cookie dough bites that you can just buy at the store and keep in your freezer. They have like a Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. I always get them mixed up. I can never remember. Which one is which? Jimmy Fallon, I think. They have like he has like his own cookie dough bag. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. They I didn't get my ranches and honey mustards. I was gonna like maybe say something if like they costed like a dollar each or something, but it's okay. They were free. Oh wait, here's a ranch. Okay, we're good with that. Oh no cheese sauce for this. We love a good old mukbang. Ooh, Sonic cheat. Wow, this is big. It's like almost like a Whopper. Okay, so this has all of the fixings on it. Look at this. All of the fixings. Okay, so far though, Sonic, I feel like the last few times I've been doing mukbangs, they forget like lots of my stuff. And Sonic, wow, look at them. I got everything besides like a sauce, but I still have those sauces. Usually I get no sauces, even though I ask for so many. But it's okay, they forget. Fast food places are always so busy. Mmm, look at the Coney Dog. I remember their corn dogs are really good too, but this is enough. Okay, we just took the thumbnail. Now let's try this Coney Dog. That looks good. But yeah, I love that TikTok page I was talking about. Honestly, I just followed her the other day. I don't I don't remember her name. But um, if you guys know who I'm talking about, let me know down below. But I love pages like that. And I know lots of you guys say that when I do mukbangs like this, like it helps you a lot. And I get lots of questions in my DMs, like saying like, how do I not feel guilty about the number of calories? Mmm, this is so good. And honestly, 
like I kind of think in my head like okay yeah this is a lot of calories because it is but this I'm not gonna go home and eat like a huge dinner later like if anything I'll have a salad or something healthy to balance it out you know even if I am hungry I might just have like some fruit or a snack because this is a lot of food um but like you're allowed you know so many calories a day so you can't feel bad about it like someone could eat a huge salad and it could be completely equivalent to like my burger or something so it's like just try not to think about it like in a bad way but I know it's hard you can't just like say don't think about it because then you're thinking about it mmm that is the best thing ever but yeah it makes me so happy when I get messages like that, though, like, saying that I help them. I help you. It makes me really happy. And I don't ever want to stop doing videos like this. That was really hot. Hmm. I'm going to set that down. Take another bite in a second. We'll finish it, even though there's no hot dog in it. But yeah, social media is like so bad. I, I've been seeing a lot of TikToks too, of like them showing what like a celebrity's Instagram post looks like versus like what they actually look like you know people face tune and all that nowadays and it's not like they're like hate videos towards the celebrity it's just like trying to make other people feel better about themselves because social media is like fake reality like it really is mm. So, it's, like, sad because, like, I feel like lots of eating disorders and stuff start from, like, what you see on social media because, like, you're seeing unrealistic stuff. And it's not always like that, but it's, like, you're seeing a photo and you're, like, why do I not look like that? And it's, like, because maybe they're face-tuning it or whatever. Maybe they're not, but... Even with models, like, they face to a model that, like, works out 24-7 and is so fit, and they still, like, Photoshop them. Like, even that would be hard on, like, your mental health. Like, knowing you work out and eat so healthy just, uh go do a photo shoot and they still photoshop you it's like why i don't know i don't know mm. so yeah social media has taken over the world and it'll always be like that which social media is also very great also good for so many companies for advertising and all that but fate there's way too many apps <laughs> like so many different facetune apps like and all the filters on Instagram, like, if you do an Instagram story and use one of the filters, they all, like, make your nose half the size. Like, why? Why is it changing, like, your actual facial, like, structure? I don't like that. 
and like so many of those filters do that they make your nose like look like you had a nose job it's like why are filters doing that to you when you're not even like asking for it This is all really good and hot. But anyways, I hope you're all having an amazing week and are all doing good. Summer is almost here. Who is excited? Who is excited? Juicy. <laughs> wow. I'm wearing a Kylie lip kit today. That is probably so expired. Because I haven't bought Kylie lip kits since like probably like th four years ago. Maybe longer than that. I feel like it actually looks really good still. It's like the velvet one. I feel like the matte ones really dry out your lips. So, my hair. I know, I know, I need a haircut. The amount of mean DMs I get saying my hair is so dead and all that. It's like, I know it's like pretty dead. Or like, I know it's thin. People always tell me, your hair is so thin, you need to do this and this and that. And I'm like, uh. Like. To me, I think it looks good. Yes, it is pretty dead. And thin, but my hair has always kind of been like that. But, I don't know. I do need to dye it, I think. Because my ends are getting, like, lighter. See if you match them to the top. You can't really tell on camera. But, I haven't dyed my hair probably in, like, six months. The box dye kit, too. Not permanent either, semi-permanent. So I feel like my hair is kind of at its natural color right now and the, end, the ends are always gonna be a little bit lighter cause like they're so old, they've been there for so long. This is good but it would be way better with cheese. Tastes like Aunt Anne's, honestly. Mm. But yeah, I kind of want to like go blonde. Not fully blonde, like brown. Because my hair is like really dark brown. I feel like on camera it almost looks black right now, but it's just the lighting. I've been seeing TikToks of like people that have like the, it's like bylage, bylage, where it's like blonde pieces kind of in the front and then it like, it's like just like highlights, kind of want it. I used to have it though and then like I don't like it and then I go back to dark every time but oh, I kind of want to switch it up. But also I feel like I look better with dark hair. This is so good and like greasy. Everything in the world. I still don't understand how, like, just everything was invented and made. Like, it just blows my mind how, like, cool 
and how far we have come especially with technology like it all just amazes me like how smart people are to invent things or create new recipes and all that Like, I just got an iPad mini, and I'm so excited about it. I still have to set it up. It's just at my house right now, but I'm so excited. Because I have not bought myself, like, an iPad or something other than, like, an iPhone that's, like, technology like that since middle school. Like, I had an iPad mini in middle school. I still have it actually. It doesn't really work though. But now that I got like a new one and I'm just so excited. I wanna keep like recipes on it and kinda of keep it like in my kitchen and stuff. It's an iPad mini, not a big one. And it's rose gold. I'm so happy. That's kinda of like my birthday gift to myself. Even though my birthday's in July, but still. That's like a big thing to buy, so I'm counting that as my birthday gift. So I'm not gonna buy anything else. <laughs> this thing is really dripping. I always see comments that are like, she zones out into the camera. I'm usually watching the viewfinder so I can just see everything, make sure it's still recording because my camera always stops recording. And to make sure it's like in focus. Cause look, see how the food gets like all white and bright. I need to like, changed my settings on my camera but I don't really know how I wonder if the cookie dough is all throughout this or just on the top like this is literally all straight cookie dough all cookie dough But you guys, there's been so many bugs in my new house. So many bugs. I called a bug exterminator and he came, but I've still seen bugs that are alive since he's came. And I don't know if they should be dead or if it takes like a few days, but oh, it freaks me out. I couldn't put my groceries away one day because there was a spider in my pantry and I can't kill a bug. I can't, I'm too, I'm, I, it freaks me out. And I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I don't know why. Cause like I'll have someone else kill it and I'll be like, yeah, kill it, get it out of here. But like, I can't kill it. Mostly because I'm scared of it. <laughs> but I just let them live and then like eventually they're not in the same spot and then I'm like, okay, they're gone. <laughs> but really they just merged to a new room. This is honestly the best cookie dough ice cream like I've ever had. It's like kind of a milkshake, but I think it's like, there was like three different types. A blast. Yeah, so it's more like a blizzard. Speaking of blizzards, McDonald's came out with a new one I hear. With like caramel and brownie in it. I have to try that. Mmm. Well, guys, 
I'm pretty much done here and the video is getting a little long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was good to sit here and do an OG mucky muck like the old days and catch up and you know just talk for like 20 minutes. I love doing that. But if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.